Okay, first run on my little ZI-8 camera here. See how this one records. Um, I want to do a, uh, a little rundown on positional sensing with my uh, rims and uh, head and uh, show you how it works on my set and a couple little tips as far as uh, getting the uh, rims to respond the way you want uh, as far as, uh, <clears throat> you know, the light rim shots or the, uh, or the full rim sound. I, there's a little bit of tweaking you can do to make it, uh, at least in my opinion, to operate the way I like it. So anyway, uh, here we go. Let me shut the mic off and I'm just going to play this thing for a second. Okay, so for uh, Roland uh, modules that uh, support positional sensing, especially since I'm using the TD-20 uh, with the expansion card, uh, you have uh, several different uh, features for the uh, for positional sensing. You, on the snare, you have positional sensing for the head, and uh, you also have positional sensing for the rim, and then you have a cross stick feature. So you know the the snare is the uh, most intricate, I guess, of uh, of all of them. The uh, cross stick feature is uh, velocity sensitive, so you can set it up so that on your harder hits, uh, you will trigger a regular rim sound, and on your uh, lighter hits, it'll be cross stick. So let's just go over the uh, let's do the snare first. Positional sensing on the snare head. Okay, let's do the snare rim, the cross stick, and uh, and the harder hit should uh, trigger the uh, rim sound. Okay, cross stick turned off. Positional sensing on the snare rim. Okay, now the tom rims. The tom rims have uh, positional sensing. There is no head positional sensing with this module. But uh, personally, I turn the positional sensing off on my tom rims because I like the full rim sound and I don't I don't really play with the rim clicks and uh, also I don't really like the to make a mistake and uh, hit a hit a tom and uh, just get the click sound in the middle of a recording or something anyway uh, tom rims okay so um, something I like to play with uh, if I'm gonna deal with the tom rims if I if I want to have both uh, if I want to have the positional sensing enabled on the tom rims, is uh, <coughs> let's go to trigger settings here. Advanced rim, and let me hit the right instrument. Okay, rim shot adjust. On this tom right here, it is set to 2.3. Now, with that rim set to 2.3, whenever I hit it without hitting the head, I'm getting the uh, click, and when I hit it uh, with combination shot, I'm getting the uh, the head and the rim. You know, and that's pretty much what I want, and that's what's supposed to happen. Uh, that setting will have a lot to do with the way your rim's response is. If I set this higher to where, <clears throat> let's say if I had a 2.8 or, uh, or 2.7, uh, somewhere in that area, I'm going to get a real sensitive rim, maybe a little more sensitive than what I have now. 
uh, on the on the edge, which right now it's pretty good anyway. But it's going to be a little bit more selective when I'm hitting that drum with the edge and the uh, the head combination to get a full rim sound. So if you play with that and get it, in my opinion, to the minimum, where you're going to get uh, decent rim click on it, consistent. You see, you even heard a couple of rim sounds there for a second that were fuller. But uh, what I want is I want the full rim sound there whenever I want it, whenever I hit it. I don't want the rim click when I'm when I'm hitting a combo, you know, a full uh, rim shot. Uh, on there, I don't want the click to sound. So I set my uh, my setting for uh, rim shot adjust down to where I'll get that consistently. Uh, <clears throat> another thing, and usually what I'll do is I'll just uh, set positional sensing to off on my rims, and then I've got uh, I've got the full rim sound whenever I hit it. I you know even if you hit it on the edge with no head, you're going to get a full rim sound if you turn positional sensing off. So anyway, that's a little bit of my kit and uh, positional sensing how it works.